Following the announcement that the Bakersfield City School District is doing away with summer school this year, hundreds protested outside the district board meeting last night. 17's Karen Waugh is here now to break down both sides. Karen? Summer, was once, summer school was once a six-week program that 7,000 students attended. Now it serves about 3,000 students. So in December, the Bakersfield City School District canceled the program altogether, citing budget cuts. A sea of red overflowed the Bakersfield City School District meeting. Parents, teachers, and students... Please bring back summer school. ...protesting the recent cut of summer school. And the fact that, that the number of children has been uh, reducing in terms of attendance means that maybe it isn't as relevant or as inspiring or as productive as it should be. But that wasn't the only cause of frustration. <laughs> Salary negotiations between the district and the teachers' union have been at a standstill. Many teachers argue the 2% raise they were offered was a fraction of the 8.5% raise given to administrators. According to BCSD, the starting salary for a certified teacher with a bachelor's degree in the district is about $48,000. A 2% raise would be an increase of $960. We did bring competitive salaries to uh, the assistant superintendents. If you're not competitive, especially a district of this size, then you're not going to be able to attain uh, the best employees. With so many protesters, hundreds were forced to sit outside the boardroom. Many wondered why the district didn't hold the meeting in the building's auditorium. The district said the auditorium is being set up for a student play. Why do you have about five, six hundred people outside? We have that meeting room right over there. Why do you try to kick everybody out? Because there's not enough room. Others were angry that the time limit for speakers will soon be reduced to three minutes. They're going to tell you that you have less time to talk. This is the last time they want you to be able to talk for five minutes. Many pointed out the board is made up of elected officials, people that should serve them, the taxpayers. We know that the magic happens in the classroom, but unless you have administrators and board members that help to drive that vision, mission, and values, and board priorities, and offer the support and the resources, it's not going to happen. The district told us there's a possibility it'll bring back summer school in 2020. But in the meantime, they say the summer meals program will continue this year, even without classes. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News. Karen, thank you.